Yo guys, Peter again. Today I've got another Lord of discussion video for you this time and it is concerning the Dark Lord Sauron. Now before I start this video, I just want to say I am taking his rules and his stats from the One Ring rulebook. So if his rules and stats have changed in ever, any other books, like the Mordor source book or that, then please let me know as I do not have the Mordor source book. So I cannot give you the proper changed stats and changed rules of Sauron himself. So let's get down to the discussion video. So like I put in the title, is Sauron overpowered? Yes and no, but he is basically the Dark Lord, as everyone knows. And he is literally the strongest hero, evil hero in the game, probably other other than Smog. I don't know Smog's stats and all that stuff, but I know Smog is a pretty tough character as well. So him and Sauron are sort of on the same level. But I'm just trying to put out there that Sauron is, to me, probably the strongest evil hero out there. So... Let's get down to stats and stuff. So his points value is 375 points. Yes, that's quite a, quite a chunk of points, especially if you're playing a 500-point game or 600-point game. You're not really going to get much, like, orcs or that to come with him. Uh, obviously, if you are taking Sauron, it'd be more like an 800-point, 1,000-point uh, army list or that, just something bigger so you can use him to his full potential. Now, to give you a quick little runoff of his stats, his fight value is 9, strength 8, defense 10, attacks 3, wounds 5, courage 6, free might, 6 will, which he can expand, and his fate, I will get to that once I start discussing his special rules. So, the only thing I don't find so amazing about Sauron is, and it sort of annoys me, he's a Dark Lord, he should have at least 5 attacks. I know that's maybe a bit crazy but free attacks for someone like Sauron's not not really what you'd expect for him for the Dark Lord of Middle Earth I know he would be extremely overpowered if he had five attacks but to me I feel maybe that would be something we'd have or even just like an extra wound or something in a way but yeah other than that his stats are perfect his defense 10 that's going to take most heroes a good a good couple of lucky shots to break through that his free might as well, which can quite handily use. His fight value is the highest other than probably Smog, like I said. And there's only maybe one or two good heroes that can match him for a fight value like that. So let's get down to his war gear. Basically, he has a mace, which is a hand weapon, and he can be given the one ring. Now, the one ring will cost you an extra 75 points, taking Sauron up to 450 points. Now, like I said in the beginning, if you're... Playing in a small, like, 500 point, 600 point game, you're not really going to get too many orcs to go, or troops or that, to fall behind Sauron. So, better off saving them for, like, 1,000 point games, or upwards, or that. But basically, yeah, the one ring, actually, is worth taking. That extra 75 points, you need it. Because on the roll of a two or more, when Sauron is wounded, down to his last wound, on a two or, or a roll, eh, sorry, on a roll of a two or more, the ring will keep Sauron alive. So basically if Sauron rolls a 1, you've lost him. But other than that, if it's 2 plus upwards, he is going to survive thanks to the power of the ring. And like I say, that extra 75 points is going to save him. It's like an elven cloak for a good hero. That to extra 10 points saves your hero for a wee bit longer and keeps him out of archer fire. So just like the same as the one ring, it is there to save his life when he's down to his final, final wound. Now, his special rules are terror. Everyone knows what terror is. He invokes, like, it drains the courage of your heroes, and you have to roll courage tests. So that's just a simple thing. Ancient evil. Now, Sauron is such a scary, sorry, like, hero to come against, uh, evil hero to come against, that instead of a uh, small range, it's a range of 18 inches. And everyone around him in that area gets a minus one penalty on the courage, which is not too is pretty annoying as it is a big, big range. That is a goblin archer's shooting range distance, and that is quite a big range. Sauron is also unstoppable. Basically, he can use his free attacks or use one sweeping attack with his mallet, with his mace, which is pretty deadly. And last but not least, Lord of the Rings. So great that Sauron's necromantic powers are that he can use one will point, 
per turn we're expanding his own will points. So just like most, just like Gandalf and Saruman, you can just expand his will points. Basically, his magic powers are transfix, compel, drain courage, sap will, and chill soul. Now he is basically the only person. Well, he's not got too much magic, but he has got a good sort of range of magic. I do admit, I, one magic spell I would add to that is probably Black Dart, just like the Nazgul have. That would just finish him off. Just having six magical attacks like that would be amazing. Black Dart is a pretty dangerous magical attack, and it would be good for Sauron to have that. Now, like I say, getting to the main bit, is he overpowered? Yes, he is quite a bit, but in a way you won't really see him in many games. I don't know how many Mordor players are would actually take Sauron if they were given the chance. At 450 points, that is a lot of orcs or maybe a couple of Nazgul that you could fit into that space and instead of taking instead of taking Sauron. So I know the Witch King at full power is a lot cheaper to buy than Sauron. I think he's about half the price in points. So in a way, you would probably take the, uh, the Witch King at full power with free attacks as well and all that. But... <coughs> Like I say, Sauron is basically an unstoppable force if you're lucky enough to keep him on the table long enough. I do admit his only downside is he's probably got he's can only move six inches as well. He can't take any beasts or that. But I do admit once he does get up to the lines of heroes or warriors, he is going to just smash straight through them. And yeah, that is the only downside to him. But other than that, he is he is overpowered, but not so much that. He's not, un, you know, he's not un completely unstoppable. But anyway, guys, going to a little discussion video here. I don't really have much in the way to say about Sauron. I've never used him. I've never came up against him. He is a good model, but like I say, points-wise and that, you wouldn't really see him in many games or many competitive games as there is better options out there for you taking. So anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this little up, uh, discussion video. Sorry. If you have, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have your own points and opinion on Sauron yourself, please leave them in the comment section and let me know what you think, guys. And as, and as always, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time.